What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about Norwegian police compared to American police. As an American, I have a very specific idea in my mind of what police look like, how they act, what their job is, and I have never in my entire life gotten to learn about the police force in Norway. So I found this article here that's going to explain a lot of really fascinating things about the Norwegian police that I can compare to American police, what I know. So it's going to be stuff like what the role of Norwegian police are, what kind of weapons they have, how they're trained, how you become a police officer in Norway, probably different than America. There's a lot of fascinating stuff and the police force, the police is such an important part of American culture and how America is run and even like American society and how Americans view the police and all sorts of stuff. It's so important in America that it's a really interesting topic to me to learn about how police uh, behave and how they're run in Norway, places other than America. I've so, it's a very interesting topic to me, so let's take a look here. Um, police in Norway, the Norwegian policing system. Norway is known for its crime novels more than its actual crime scene. <laughs> yeah. Norway has an incredibly, like, low crime rate, which is obviously going to affect the police in Norway. America has a lot of crime, a lot of murder, a lot of violent crime. That's going to change the way that police behave and how many police there are in America. So that already is a humongous difference between Norway and America. Um, that being said, Norway does have a police force, and that force has a few peculiarities. Okay. Did you know, for example, that all of Norway's police officers are employed by the same police force? Huh. I guess, well, in America, like, every city, every town has its own police. Like, there's the New York Police Department, the L.A. Police Department. Like, there's a lot of different police forces in America, seemingly broken up by towns and cities and regions. And this is saying that basically all of Norway's police are the same, just the Norwegian police, basically. Maybe certain cities have their own departments, too, though. Um, police officers in Norway act as prosecutors? Like lawyers? What? What? From the training to the weapons. Read and we'll tell you all you need to know. Okay. How Norwegian police is organized. Norway has a unified police, which means that there is only one civilian police force. There's only one police force. This contrasts with the situation in the United States where regions or cities have their own police force. Oh, there you go. I'm really glad they actually said that because I wasn't sure. Yeah, in America, like, there's different police forces all over the United States w that are run differently, kind of do their own thing with generally the same laws. But in Norway, it's just all the Norwegian police. Okay, okay. The police in Norway operate under the umbrella of the National Police Dictoriate. Directorate, which reports to the Ministry of Justice. Norwegian police districts. Operations are divided into 12 police districts, which vary in size from the Oslo area to the Arctic expanses of Finnmark. And these are the 12 police districts, okay. Western, Eastern, Troms, Oslo. I've heard of some of these places. Um... The police, Norwegian police has seven specialist agencies dedicated to tasks like border control, dealing with cr economic crime or cyber crime. Yeah, that's similar to America. Like there's different police uh, agencies, whether it's like for different tasks, basically, like cyber criminals and people who are wanted and uh, like the FBI, like criminal investigations and border control and yeah. A lot of stuff like that. Um, finally, we should mention the PST, the Norwegian Counter Intelligence Service. Oh, kind of like the CIA, 
which rep- or the FBI in America, which reports to the Ministry of Justice. It's similar to the FBI in the United States catching foreign spies and preventing acts of terrorism or sabotage. The PST, so Norway has the PST, okay. Powers of the Norwegian police. Here we go. Okay, what can the police do? Um, Since there is a single police organization, police officers have no geographical limitation to their powers. Ah, so a Norwegian police officer can carry out their duty anywhere in all of uh, Norway. Okay, okay. That's a little different. These powers fall under different areas. Patrolling highways, responding to emergency calls, search and rescue. Yeah, yeah. Other responsibilities of Norwegian police are ones that other countries are assumed. Patrolling coastal waters, checking passports, acting as a prosecutor. That's really... Like, Norwegian police are almost like little lawyers or something. Acting as a prosecutor in court? Like, what? Other duties include administrative. Okay, okay. Becoming a police officer. Yes. In America, it's kind of thought that it's a little too easy to become a police officer in America. And a lot of people can become police officers in America if they don't want to go to college or can't be accepted to college and they want a good job that'll have a really a really great retirement, but you have to put yourself in the line of danger. That's the trade-off. It's a very tough job being a police officer. Very tough. And in America, some people think it's too easy for how much responsibility a police officer has, for how much power a police officer has. It should be pretty difficult to become a police officer. That's a lot of responsibility. You don't want just anyone doing that. And it seems like in America, sometimes uh, bad officers slip through the cracks a bit. Police officer trainer... Police officer training in Norway is a three-year university bachelor's degree. The second year consists of practical training. Oh my gosh. This is completely different. In America, you can just graduate high school and join a police academy and graduate in a few years. This is actually like a university bachelor degree. This is so much better. This is much more, like, difficult. Like, I, and I like that. I like this. Like, the fact that it's a three-year program and you get a bachelor's degree. Like, that will really, like, sort out people who are worthy of graduating and being an officer from those who can't make it. That's exact. wow. Wow. I'm not, that makes a lot of sense that Norway actually put some thought into this. Wow. Since their tasks are varied, the education also varies. The officers are responsible for prosecution in court, would need a law degree. Wow. Wow. Sounds like it's a lot harder and more prestigious to become a Norwegian police officer. A lot harder. In America, it's like, (laughs) it's not considered the most difficult. Um... Police prosecutors in Norway. The the integration of prosecutorial prosecutorial powers to the police is a peculiarity of the Norwegian police system. In most Western countries, these powers are separate. Yeah, in America, police aren't, like, going to court and doing anything, like, for the prosecution or that a lawyer would do. That's just lawyers. That's a totally, totally different thing in America. Totally different. In practice, it means that police investigating into a crime will be led by a politiadvokat. A police lawyer. Huh. A U.S. equivalency is harder to pin, since U.S. police ranks tend to vary from one service. Yeah, there's nothing quite like this in American police. The advantage of having prosecutors be part of the police is that it's closer cooperation between officers investigating a crime and the prosecution can result in a more coordinated investigation. Right, right. Because you're, uh, you have the police officers 
actually catching the person and arresting them. And then in America, it's just handed off to the lawyers, to the courts. Totally different system. But in Norway, the two systems are more connected, which probably results in a lot more efficiency and a lot better results in the criminal justice system in Norway. That's such a like small but important difference. That just makes so much sense. Wow. Um, it removes a point of friction between the prosecution and police. It's useful. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it's useful. It's more cooperation. Wow. Norway is really impressing me with like, <laughs> it's these just little things with the, how they, uh, how they set up the police, making it like so that it's a three year degree to become an officer and incorporating, uh, like more of the law aspect into what the police officers actually do. Um, but if that's the case, you need your officers to be more educated, which is a little more difficult. In America, we need so many police officers that it's thought that it can't be too much barrier to entry or America would have a big police shortage. So... It's kind of a different situation because Norway has a lot smaller population and a lot less crime. So it is a bit of a, it's a different situation. I don't know. Because we could make it harder to be a police officer in America, but then we would have less officers and that might have more crime if there's not a lot of officers. So that is very tough, sticky situation. Police weapons in Norway... American police are famous for having weapons, guns, tasers, all that. The police in Norway have a tradition of not being armed at all times. <laughs> what? Typically, the firearms are in the trunk of the police car under lock and key. That is so different than American culture. Like, when you picture an American police officer... You picture someone with a gun. All officers in America have a gun on them, on their belt, at all times. And a taser and walkie-talkie and all this stuff. But uh, Norway, like, that says so much about Norway and Norwegian culture and crime. That in Norway, the officers are not armed at all times. It's just a totally different culture. Totally different. Well, it's very respectable. It says a lot of good things about Norway, honestly. Wow. The police are more educated and don't have to carry a firearm because uh, the Norwegian people are just committing less violent crime, basically. There's less guns in general. This may be a bit shocking, but it makes sense when considering Norway's low murder rate. 0 0.5 murders each year per 100,000 inhabitants. Oh my gosh. In comparison, oh whoops, accidentally went to the murder rate uh, page. In comparison, that rate in the United States is five murders per 100,000 people. 10 times the rate of murder in the United States. Not 10 times more murder. No, no, no. That would make sense because of the population. 10 times the rate per 100,000 people. There's just 10 times the rate of murder. Oh my goodness. That is scary. That's a little shocking. Okay. Armed police are a rare sight. Yep, yep, wow. Since the end of World War II, 1945, 12 officers have been killed in the line of duty. In comparison, <laughs> 12 officers have been killed in Norway in the last 80 years. In comparison, 15 officers in Chicago alone were killed in the line of duty in the 1990s. Wow. Sad. Sad for America, honestly. And it's also just like, Norway is like kind of a shining example of like a society, so... Uh, it's also just, like, very admirable to see Norway's crime statistics being so low. It's amazing. The comparison may be unfair, but it demonstrates the crime rate in Norway is low and that the need for firearms is not as present 
Yeah, yeah, seriously. It's just not needed. The argument for maintaining this state of affairs is that arms race between police and criminals serves no one. Wow, what a great philosophy. Um... That being said, police have been carrying firearms more this past decade. More often than not, these exceptions to the rule have been because the PST warned of a greater perceived terrorist threat. Okay. What weapons do the Norwegian police use? Yeah, what do they use? American police, besides their gun, they have tasers for stunning the criminal. Maybe Norwegian police use tasers. Uh, when they do carry guns, they use a German Heckler & Koch MP5 submachine gun and semi-automatic pistols. Wow. A three-year pilot project in 2019 gave Norwegian police the possibility to use tasers. This pilot project was deemed successful, and the government decided to allow police to use tasers. Yeah, that just makes sense to me. Yeah, why not? It's non-lethal. Police in daily life. One notable detail about the police in Norway is that it's not as visibly present as many other countries. Yeah, a big thing in America is police will make themselves known. Police in America will drive around. They will establish a presence. They want to be very visible because that deters crime. And there's a lot of crime in America. So police have to really make it seem like they're all over the place, that they're watching all over the place, and that they're everywhere. So American police try to be as visible as possible. Whereas police officers can be seen driving, walking, cycling, or riding horses in North American cities, at times when everything is in order, that sight is not as common. Yeah, yeah, you'll have police officers around even when nothing bad is happening, for sure. Yeah, that's just normal in America. In Norway, police is mostly visible when it's on its way to a crime scene or some incident, at protests, or when guarding an embassy. Huh. That's not to say Norwegian streets feel unsafe or that the police are not doing their job. They're just less visible. That's very different than America. In America, the police, I see police officers every day, every day, and I don't live in a big city. I just live in an average American city. Like, wow. Another difference is the relatively laid-back tone when they are seen talking to members of the public, suspects, or victims. The police methods seen on the TV shows such as Cops may not be an accurate representation of reality in the U.S., but it's far from the Norwegian norm. Yeah. In America, because there's so much crime and so much danger, police have to be aggressive, and they're not always kind, and they're not always nice. And uh, sometimes that's justified, because there's a lot of violence and threats, and American police don't have time to be nice. They have to treat everyone like a threat and give clear, concise orders, or they're going to be in danger. But it depends on where you live. It depends on where you live in America I live in a smaller area, so the police are more laid back, a little more nice, not as serious, because there's not as much crime as in some place like L.A. or New York, for example, or Chicago, where it'd be much more serious. Prisons in Norway. Prisons. Norway's prison system. Norway's prison system puts a focus on rehabilitation. Uh, I watched a whole video about Norway's prison systems. Amazing. Um, focuses on rehabilitating, making the prisoners able to go back out into society and be members of society. It's beautiful. A lot of people joke that the Norwegian prisons are better than some of the average American apartments (laughs) where people just live. It'd be better to just go to Norwegian prison uh, because it's so nice. But it's meant, it's for the rehabilitation, right? Um, And the American prison system There's so many people in American prison that it's just uh, hell. It's just horrible. Like, there's just so many people in prison that no one can be treated very well. And there's not enough money to make it a very pleasant experience. Like, or there probably is enough money. It's just not a focus of the American government on rehabilitation, sadly. So that's another thing Norway does amazingly, amazingly. Okay, I think that's it. Wow! Wow! Uh, I thought American police 
and Norwegian police would be different? This just highlighted to me how incredibly different they are. They are very different. Norway is doing a lot of really impressive stuff with their police. They have a lot of policies that are really great. More, the police are more educated in Norway. They can have more powers in regards to the law. They don't have to carry guns all the time. There's less crime. They're nicer. Oh, man. This, this is kind of like kind of depressing comparing it to America because American police are so different. But it's also just it's, it's good, though. It's, it's fascinating and it's a good learning experience to learn about how policing is done in other parts of the world, especially Norway, which is always has so many great policies on lots of issues. Police, for sure. This was, man, this was enlightening, fascinating. We could learn a lot from Norway in regards to policing, for sure. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this reaction, feel free to give it a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and Norwegian culture and stuff in Norway that I have never seen before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.